let's get into it i'm gonna go first <laughs> Yeah, you're <laughs> ranting this week i'm ranting this week i think before i get into that one that me and you discussed before i'm gonna rant first because it's been, like i said it's been a mad busy week here and like one one idiot the other day tried to ram me off the road and it oh. like what i tell you like ram almost ran me off the road because mm-hmm. basically he's got he had the same car as me in it so he's thinking yeah man's gonna show off to his girl them and then he's gonna try and show a man a thing and two and i'm like yo like there's traffic where are you going so he started driving mad and start skipping in and out of traffic uh-huh. i'm hey, just like bro that, like- just chill oh. and then next thing here i'm like you know i'm just gonna go my way in it like I, because i'm i'm trying to compose myself with this road rage thing because yeah, yeah. before i knew i had road rage in it so i'm yeah. trying to be like oh, just settle yourself in it <laughs> like yo just just settle yeah and then this guy just literally like just you know when you know when you haven't drank alcohol in so long mm. and then you had like and then I don't know something happened in your life, and all of a sudden, you just go for that one bottle. Literally, I just felt like <laughs> I just felt like this prick here made me just snap. I just snapped, and I started driving like a madman, like Motion because it was flashing me, and it was Motion flashing me, it was control. flashing me, and I was like, "You're pricking it." So yeah, mm. I'm writing about that. And another thing I'm writing about this week, guys, is Piers Morgan. This guy has an agenda. He's a prick. I actually thought he was a good guy before, you know. Actually, I was on his side. I was thinking, okay, this guy actually talks sense. He does talk some sense. To a degree. To a degree. Until he has an until the Meghan Markle debacle. That's what I'm calling it, yeah? <laughs> Meghan Markle debacle. Because this guy, it's like every week, yeah, he's got something, he's got to, something say. to say about Meghan Markle. Specifically as Specifically. well. Specifically. The other day, it was about the whole media thing. Oh, you you can't choose when you want to be in the media. Then you're posting on a picture about you're pregnant. Da, 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 da. And now it's all about, oh, about how there's speculations about how Meghan Markle was being was bullying stuff in the, in, in the, within the royal family. Mm-hmm. Apparently emailing them at 5 a.m. Bro, if you're working for the royal family, you better be expecting emails at 3 a.m. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Two. At two, one, one whenever. Because it's like working for the president, the president can holler at you any given time in the twenty-four yeah, hour clock. True. Do you know what I mean? Like, how is that a form of bullying? Mm. I don't understand, and it's just like, uh, let me come. Leave let me, Megan let me, alone. Let me, let me calm down. Let me calm. It's racist. You racist, motherfucker. <laughs> Piers Morgan's racist. That's what I'm saying. He's a racist guy. Like I said, I used to think it was a cool dude. Yeah, up until this Meghan Markle thing. Because, like I said, every bloody week, yeah, he's always got something to say. Let me say this. Um, that's my right now okay cool that's cool <laughs> just, just, just a little food for thought yeah who puts out this information about, the media no 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 about the royal family though if their security is tight like handcuffs how apparently how are this how's this information coming out do you get what I mean that's yeah. the first thing we've got to think about mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. obviously Piers is just someone that's just like he, he's got a big mouth in it so He's going to talk and say whatever he thinks. Fair enough. But just me personally, I just think that like, he's definitely got issue with Megan. But, but the thing is, like, do you have to comment on everything? But there's so many shit news going on. You out know there. what? When like, I was watching the, um, the thing, the, the Good Morning Britain thing, and he yeah. was talking, like, you could see that our presenter was just like a bit like, oh, not again, please. You can do you know see, what I mean? It's like, like oh, every time. It. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> bro, it's done. Leave Megan alone. She don't want you. It's you like, know what I mean? It's like, like he's been hurt so bad. <laughs> bad like you can the the hate is oozing out of his paws like it's and crazy. the other one was that another one about her when earring the from the, from um, the saudi, saudi whatever mm, whatever yeah. who oh, I'm like, Murdered bro. the journalist years ago but she didn't know like and then what was funny because he was talking about like basically her, her he what he's trying to say is like she's guilty by association that's what he's trying to say you know like she doesn't have to choose her friends that are like but he's in pictures with Epstein. Bro. And what's the other, the lady's name? I forgot her name. Uh, I can't remember what her name is. But Epstein's yeah, person that he yeah. talks to. You know, uh, okay, so are you involved in that? Are you not Prince Andrew? Like, Bro. you know what I mean? Do, do you yeah. know what I mean? Even the whole Prince, Prince Andrew thing about how, obviously, that is comparisons about how all of a sudden they're talking about Megan, 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 and yeah. investigating Megan with the accusation of her bullying staff in the royal family but mm. then it's like with the whole prince what's his name again prince andrew that's the one prince andrew there's so many of them it's like yo you confuse one um <laughs> prince andrew obviously with the whole epstein thing it's like how many did you ever hear him being investigated no. by the royal family no mm. do you know what i mean it's like 
It's like you can't have your cake and eat it. You're, you're, you're doing an investigation for Megan, but you never did anything for Prince Andrew, where I personally think whatever he was accused of in terms of magnitude was a lot more than, than what, what Megan... About what, bullying, and yeah. Megan ain't done shit. Let's be honest. It's like from get-go, yeah. It's like I just felt like they've had an agenda against this woman. The British media have always been publishing shitloads about this woman. But at the end of the day, they have to be a newspaper sell and that is what well, sells. That Sensationalism why? is what sells for people. I get that, but then they just got sued for what she got. She just got paid out about, what, 648 grand? Yeah, she did, yeah. So you got to watch your, watch but your then, shit. Here's, but this is, I can kind of see what Piers is saying in terms of like curbing a privacy case and then the next day putting out pictures of whatever. Well, I but we discussed this. Yeah, we this discuss is you it. controlling your own narrative. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's like I can. It's like social media. I choose what I post, mm-hmm. not the newspaper articles choosing for me. And that's basically what it is with them. And somebody made a statement. I think when I was watching or listening to one of the things, it's like what Harry was basically trying to do. If you obviously when we were calling regards to what happened to his mum, yeah, he doesn't want that, that to happen to his own wife. Mm. And that's the reason why they've had to take a step back from the royal duties and the royal family. And and to the point where my man actually uprooted and moved across the, the Atlantic. States. Can you mm. imagine? Mm. That's because crazy. it's seeing what has happened to his mum. He doesn't want to go through that same path. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And then every week he's like, oh, Megan this, oh, Megan that. And now everyone's waiting for the Oprah uh, interview. interview. You watching it? Um, I think I might have got a bit of time. I haven't, honestly, I haven't watched TV. I haven't even watched my show. You don't watch TV. Basically, I'm um, okay because I've been watching TV. Sometimes I sit down and I watch my little crime shows, um, like what's it called? What a murder and a marriage or something like that. I watch that sometimes. If I got so was a murder and a marriage, marriage yeah. and a murder. So basically, it's usually stories about like um people marriage like, and a murder. Yeah, it's so on like now TV and that like, documentaries. Yeah, so basically, if someone's been um murdered. No, someone's married. They just got married, for instance, like a newlywed couple. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they've been murdered. They'll find out who done it. Usually, a lot of the times, it's the spouse that's done it. Oh. So it's kind of like talking about the case and this kind of thing. But that's only if I ever have like a free 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, a man's busy, in it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? I was like, you don't, you don't watch TV. But other than that, I haven't even caught up on Housewives. I haven't caught up on Power, the Power Playbook. I haven't, I haven't watched any of my shows. I'm surprised you know about the whole Megan thing. Do you know me? Because I'm like I'm literally <laughs> under a rug. Like I'm just, I, I literally when I go on Insta, you know I me. Mean? I'm a lurker. Like scroll, scroll, yeah, scroll, yeah. scroll, scroll, like, 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 like off. Both. That's me. That's it. Bish, that bash, bosh. Because I've just got so many things, like so many tabs open in my mind as well. I got my exam coming up. So many things. So mm, it's just mm. like so you got, you got bare things. Yeah, got bare only things. things are gone. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done. 